Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your favorite business coach, Coach Jelena, and I'm back with another video for you. Over here, we like to talk about business and beauty and all that good stuff. So make sure if you do want to stick around, don't forget to subscribe. And also don't forget to thumbs up this video if you do like this style video as well. As you can see from the title of this video, we're going to talk about all the things that I personally wish I knew before starting a hair company. For those of you who do not know, I've owned a hair company for the past five years and there's a lot of stuff <laughs> that I did not know and I'm here to tell all you guys those things so you don't make the same mistakes as your girl did. So we're just going to jump right into the video. The very first thing that I do wish that I knew before entering the hair industry was do not put all of your coins, all of your dollars, all of your money into inventory and I know that might sound a little bizarre but you do not have to spend your all on inventory let's say you have a budget for a thousand dollars just put five hundred dollars into inventory just put four hundred dollars in, into inventory now there's a lot of different ways that you can go around this some vendors offer drop ship pre-ship order on demand order as you need it so in my opinion it's always good to have a little bit of inventory on hand but you don't necessarily have to spend all your dollars at one time in the early stages of business if you have to go through some type of dropship program or pre-ship program or so forth do so up until you get your business where you ultimately want it to be and you have enough money to kind of disperse that's when you would then take the leap and just order as much inventory as your budget does allow but that is not needed in the beginning it's not needed the next thing that I wish I knew before entering the hair industry was do not mislead your customers everybody and they mama always trying to keep up with the Jones and always want the best of the best so this is something that I learned probably my first six months of being in business when people were raving about 8A hair and 9A hair and 10A hair and 8A hair all of those things for one all of those things are misleading from overseas vendors there's not really a such thing as graded hair but that's something I was trying to keep up with the Jones and to a certain extent I was misleading my customers back then but I realized that it's not worth it the graded hair means absolutely nothing because within the hair industry you either have horrible hair, decent hair, or good quality hair. Use your product description box to describe all the specs on the hair and the quality of the hair and all that good stuff and just do not be misleading at all. The next thing that I wish I would have known before going into business was do not only focus on your vendor's prices. If a vendor's price is too cheap, run. Just because it's cheap does not mean it's going to be good quality. Just because this vendor has really high prices and this vendor has really low prices does not mean that the vendor with high prices is going to have better hair or the vendor with super low prices are going to have trash hair really take your time and test out the hair communicate with different vendors to see what they do have to offer see if their communication skills are good really just test out the company or the factory as a whole and don't essentially focus on prices but one thing that i will say if some prices are too good to be true nine times out of ten it is so if you come across a vendor and their prices are dirt cheap run for the hills as quick as you can the next thing that i wish i would have learned before going into business is cheap prices bring cheap customers okay so if your prices are too good to be true or your prices are super duper duper affordable super affordable cheap cheap you're gonna attract those type of customers and clients and a lot of the times when it does come to dealing with clients who are super cheap it does bring a lot of problems or unsatisfied customers so one thing that I will say is really go over your price margins and your price structures to have affordable prices if that's your goal but still not attracting cheap customers the next thing I do wish I would have learned before going into business is having a strict strict brand ambassador 
contract agreement and having them sign it. If you're dealing with influencers online, make sure you have something totally drawn up that specifies essentially what you want as the business owner and what your future brand ambassador is to complete. So if you want them to post so many times a day, if you want them to create a YouTube video, Reels, TikTok, make sure that you have all of those specifications into the contract and have them sign it. So there's no gray areas within the contract and both of you on both parties know essentially or exactly what is supposed to be done the duration of the contract and have them sign it and date it that is very important i learned that with my very first brand ambassador that i had with my company if you guys want me to make a story time about that let me know because it was a nightmare if you were if you were with me back then you might already know but it was a nightmare but if you guys do want a story time about that just let me know and i will create one for you but i did learn my lesson from that and now moving forward if i am dealing with some type of influencer or brand ambassador whether it's long term or short term i do have a contract ready for them and i also do sell this contract on my website as well so i will also just leave that link below in case you want a pre-made template to go by and within that template all you have to do on your end is list the duties that you want your brand ambassador to complete during the duration of your collaboration with each other. The next thing that I wish I would have learned back then would be no website, no business. Back in the day, I was trying to sell on Instagram. I was trying to make my coin strictly through Instagram and Facebook and just a little bit of word of mouth and that's that did not cut it. It wasn't until I actually had a up and running website, a beautiful website, a fully functional website, until I actually started to generate some profit. So if you're out there and you're solely just selling on Instagram DM and on Facebook and things like that, I do recommend you to get a website. I do create websites. So if you do need a website, make sure you check the description box. It'll have all the details in there for you. But having a website is a must have. And then the very last thing that I wish I would have known before going into business is know who you're selling to. Back in the day, I used to think I could sell to anyone. Everyone was my customer. But now, five years later, I know exactly who I'm selling to. I know exactly how to reach them. I know age ranges. I know who can afford my products, who can't, and things like that. So it's really important that you do know who you're selling to. For one, you're not going to waste money in ad promotion. And you're not going to waste valuable time by promoting to the wrong audience. So if you're out there and you're either thinking about going into the hair industry or already in the hair industry but running into some hiccups or some hurdles, make sure that you take heed to everything that I'm saying and fix it if you're doing some of these things so that you don't lose out on any more time and any more money. And like I said, if you guys do want that brand ambassador contract, it will be listed in the description box. And if you do want me to go in and make a website for you, if that's something that you're interested in as well, that will be linked in the description box also. But other than that, I love you guys. Thank you guys for continuing to support me on my journey of entrepreneurship. And if you need to reach out to me, make sure you email me at amanijelina at gmail.com or you can hit me up in my Instagram DMs as well. But I love you guys. Continue to enjoy your day and your evening and I will see you guys in my next video. Mwah.